Welcome. This is Skill and Kelso from the Grim Reapers. And we're here today to provide a hardware review on the new Winwing F16 Integrated Control Panel, or ICP. The F16 ICP incorporates Block 60 layout design while retaining the identical button layout of the DCS Block 50 and BMS Block 40 versions. As you can see, the Block 60 DED or data entry display, is at the top of the ICP controls, making it visually faster to use. Wenwing sent Skill and I these review kits at no charge for an honest review. They've always said, just say what you think. The quickest way to show you the overall features of the ICP is to play Wenwing's ad on the control. So here goes. As always, everything in the box is very well protected in a cocoon of foam. First of all, we have the selection of bags containing tools, mounting hardware and a USB-A to USB-C cable. Finally, underneath everything else is the ICP itself. It's also contained in its own wee bag and the DED screen has a peel to help prevent any scratches in transit. You will need the most recent version of SimApp Pro from the download section of Winwing's store on the net. There, you can also download the F16 ICP manual. I appreciate the tension level on the four wheels. There is enough tension to ensure a slight brushing or bump won't move them. Once bound, all of the controls work just as you'd expect in-game. DED screen doesn't require any additional display exports and simply by having SimApp Pro running in the background the in-game DED is repeated on the WinWing hardware. I'll also point out here the slight ghosting you're seeing in the video when the inputs are made must be something to do with the camera as I don't see that with the naked eye.
The panel itself is made of a hard plastic. It feels solid, and although I would personally have preferred the buttons to have a bit more of a clicky feel to them, they're fine with a decent amount of feedback. The thumb wheel axis controls have a nice sturdy feel to them and have a good bit of resistance. I'm particularly happy that when we have included the raised indicator dots above the 5 and 9 buttons on the keypad. These help immensely when you're trying to negotiate your way around the keypad without looking, especially handy for us VR users. Inputting anything from radio to TACAN freaks, waypoint info and laser codes is just so much better when you're doing it with a one to one scale panel. Current pricing for the Viper ICP panel as of December 3rd, 2023 is $195.95 for both global and the United States, $190.24 for the European Union, $328.39 for Australia, and $292.25 for Canada. At first glance, these appear to be a lot lower than their current competitors. Okay, Skill, thank you for all your hard work. So, what are your thoughts? How about any negatives first? The only control on the panel that feels a bit disappointing to me is the dauber switch. I'm not a real F-16 pilot, so I have no idea what it should feel like, but the one on this panel just feels a bit weak. I think it needs to feel a bit more solid with a nice positive click at the activation point of the switch in each direction. I was also initially a little concerned about Winwing's placement of the DED screen on the panel, as it looked a bit odd to me. However, now that I have it mounted, I actually quite like it. Talking about the mount, for anyone who is going to be mounting it on their existing F-18 UFC, like I have, I found that the mounting solution felt a bit clunky. However, again, once you have it mounted and the ICP flipped over into place, it sits very well directly in front of the existing UFC, so if you are flying using a monitor, it doesn't result in any more of an obstruction to your view. Overall, I think this is another great product from Winwing, and despite the couple of minor personal preference type things I've already mentioned, the ICP is a great addition for anyone who loves flying the Viper. I had limited VR time with the ICP, so in VR, I had to feel around slightly to not bump the dauber accidentally, so I'll defer to you on that one. I was fine with the other controls feedback in and out of VR. I believe this will be a popular and affordable addition to Viper Sim Pilots. So, viewers, that completes our review. I hope we've provided you with enough information to make a decision. Again, we encourage you to view all other reviews as we may have missed something. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time.